Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I recently made a video about this kit. I did a demo of it. Some of you liked it, some of you didn't. Fair enough. Um, but I did say I'm not going to be working with this company again. And I got a range of replies, but uh, the theme is you guys want to know what happened. So I guess in today's video, we're going to talk about that. Now I'm gonna try and keep this one short. I don't wanna spend a ton of time talking because that's all we're gonna be doing is talking about basically what happened here, but I, I need to preface it. So again, if you did watch the last video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the demo, whether you like the guitar or not. I got a variety of replies kind of in the same theme, you know, and some of you were, were polite about it and said, it would have been nice to know what happened, but we understand if you don't wanna tell us. Um, and I got kind of all the way from that to, to one uh, gentleman who said he was sick and tired of us so-called self-proclaimed influencers trying to extort money out of companies uh, for good reviews. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a second. But so we're gonna today we're gonna talk about what happened. But first of all, I think I, I should tell you why I didn't get into it in the first place. And that's really because I don't think this information is gonna help you very much. Um, so I, I had a few people kind of say, well, it must be bad customer service. I didn't want to create that impression per se with my, uh, with my video, although I can see why that happened. But let me be clear, I don't know how their customer service is. Okay, I gave an honest review of the kit. I didn't really say much negative about it, except that the, the parts are inexpensive and could use upgrading. Um, but I, I'm not really a customer per se, so I don't really know what their customer service is like. I might be able to infer it from what happened with, uh, with my arrangement, but I can't say with any real certainty. So this may come as a surprise to some of you, but probably doesn't. I don't generally have to pay for guitar kits. They get sent to me to do reviews and stuff like that through a variety of arrangements. And uh, I'm very fortunate that, that that happens. So grateful for that. But also if it didn't, I wouldn't be able to do so many builds and I wouldn't be able to make so many videos. So it, it's helpful, you know, it lets me do these because I simply wouldn't be able to afford it otherwise. Um, this was an arrangement like that. Now, a key element of these arrangements when I do them is that, you know, whether it's for a build series or just an unboxing or review or whatever, it's an honest review. I think it has to be. Uh, I'm not sure if that's mandated by law per se. Haven't looked into it, but I think it's important and incumbent upon me to be honest when I do those reviews. And there are examples of that. A lot of my reviews are, are positive because I like a lot of the kits that I get. For example, the Precision Guitar Kits, beautiful. Um, the Solo Kits, very good for, for what you pay for the most part. Uh, it, there was one that I did with a, a hollow body kit that came from Muslati where I gave a very negative review. And that was a similar arrangement. I didn't buy that kit. They sent it to me to do a review and there were problems with it. So we talked about the problems. When I got this kit, I did an unboxing video, and then when I assembled it, I gave a review. And I consider it to be an honest review. And it was largely positive. I think I said, you know, the frets are in good condition. They didn't need a lot of leveling work. No sprout. Parts need a bit of upgrading, but the carving on the, on the body, while generally standard, is, is pretty good. It's pretty smooth, and it's a really cool engineered wood, you know. Is what it is. That all seemed fair to me. So after a quick camera angle change to try and keep just the talking video here interesting, um, let's, let's get to, I guess, the problem. And again, this doesn't mean that their customer service is bad. This doesn't mean that you won't like building a guitar kit from them. Do what you want. Um, but I'm not going to work with them again. I had an arrangement with them. I, you will have seen that I did a couple of videos before I made that last one. And the arrangement was a sponsorship arrangement as far as I'm concerned. And it was for me to do, you know, the review, the build, etc. And once I did the first couple videos, um, I'm not sure whether it, we got a chicken and the egg situation here. I'm not sure whether it was previously decided by whomever I was dealing with um, that they weren't going to fulfill the agreement or if they decided they weren't going to fulfill the agreement after reviewing my video. Uh, I don't know. And I don't think it really matters. But um, long story short is, from my perspective, they reneged on our arrangement, and whether as an excuse afterward or as the justification for it, they said they didn't like my review. Um, wasn't a good enough review, uh, asked me about my relationship with some other kit companies, so 
I don't know. I don't know if they thought that they were going to be paying me for a glowing review or if they just didn't want to um, do the sponsorship or, or what. It doesn't really matter. Um, and it certainly shouldn't really matter to you guys unless you're trying to enter into a sponsorship arrangement with them, in which case, uh, good luck to you. But um, I won't be doing it again. So this will be the last kit that I do from Bad Cat, but I'm still going to do it. Uh, although, you know, based on the nature of the arrangement, I probably shouldn't. I think you guys are still going to benefit from the series. I don't have a problem with the kit per se, so if you want one, hopefully the series is still good, and I think you'll still enjoy it, hopefully. So, that's it. Oh, I can... Sorry, I'm filming with my phone. I can hear it buzzing, so it's probably going to warp the video a little bit. But that's really all I think I need to tell you there. Uh, hopefully that satisfies those of you who were curious about it. Um, uh, now, I'm not saying that if you see a very positive review for a bad cat kit, it's bought and paid for. It may well not be. I don't mind the kit, okay? I'm just not going to work with these guys again. And that's that. I'm going to stop repeating myself now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure that you would have enjoyed the video per se, but I hope that it answers your questions. Um, if you have other questions, of course, you can let me know, but hopefully I don't have to get into some fight about extorting companies and stuff again now. Anyway, um, my reviews of kits will be honest. End of story. Keep in mind, you all know this, this isn't my job. <laughs> I do this to create tutorials to hopefully help people out, and I do it because I enjoy it. And then I, I try and answer your questions because this information, at least when I started doing this, was difficult to find. Now there are lots of people building kits, so it's actually a lot easier. There's lots of variety. you got people to choose from. Go out and find tutorials that you enjoy. Hopefully mine are among those. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. And I will see you next time. Um, it probably won't be on this kit right away because we have some other awesome projects coming out and the Precision Guitar Kits build is well underway and I think I'm going to start putting the videos out for that. But uh, we shall see. Thanks again. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.